How you doing everybody? Jonathan King from TheClinchReport.com and PugilPicks.com. I'm here with Manville the Anvil, Manny Gamburian, who is set to fight, make his debut at 135 pounds at UFC 178 on September 27th. Manny, how are you? I'm feeling good. I'm good. How you doing? Very well, thank you. Now, uh, debut at a new weight class. Um, how's training going so far? Well, I just started camp. You know, I got two months to go, eight weeks. I'm going to be okay. Uh, I talked to Dolce. And we're on a track, my weight is perfectly fine, and I can't wait to debut my 135. Hopefully I can, you know, get the W as quick as possible. Now you've been around the sport for a long time. Uh, you fought in pretty much every weight class from 185, now down to 135. Uh, is, is there a, a specific weight that you feel most comfortable at? Well, I thought I was feeling comfortable at 145, but, you know, eventually, you know, the sport's growing, and, you know, a lot of tactics and... I feel like I'm small for 145 now, so I want to try 135. If I, if I can make 135, why not I try, you know? But I don't want to just make the weight just to s show people that I can make the weight. Or even my coaches or my friends or training partners or even the UFC promotion. I just want to go out there and go all the way. I'm running for the belt. That's, that's my main goal. Not, I'm not trying to make 135, just like I said, show people that I can make 135 all the way. It's all the, I'm going all the way. So you make one run for the title at 135? 100%, 100%, 100%. Excellent. Now you touched on using Mike Dolce to help with your diet. Um, going back in the day from when you first started, have you noticed how, uh, maybe comment on how the, the sport has, has transitioned, become more scientific as far as weight cuts are concerned and as far as, as staying in shape and, and, and staying in camp almost pretty much, you have to prepare for a camp now. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean... Dolce is a man. I mean, you can tell he, they, he gets the results done. People have that is helping that, making them lose weight and making weight. It's just, it's, it's impossible. It's crazy. I don't know how he does it. After my last fight, he came into the octagon with me. He goes, man, I really want you to, see, I really want to see you at 135. Let's make it happen. I'm like, well, he, let's do it. I'm down to do it. I like the big challenges. I always like the challenges. This is the next challenge for me to make 135 and go out there and shine. I can do it. Excellent. Now, uh, have you have you tried a test cut yet already? No, no, no. But I can. I know. I, I know. I'm gonna do it. If I don't know, if I know, I'm not gonna able to do it. I won't. I won't even go for it. Your opponent, Cody Gibson. What do you know about him? Uh, actually, I don't know nothing about him. But you know, I'm I'm gonna search for him. You know, I heard he's 5'10". He's kind of tall for a uh, weight class. But I fought so many big guys in my life. So I respect him as a fighter. Obviously, he's my opponent now. So. I'm going to go out there and try to, you know, do what I do best and fight and get the W. Excellent. Now you have a couple teammates fighting on uh, August 10th at Chaos in the Casino. Uh, what do you expect from, from all your Glendale Fighting Club teammates? I expect everyone to win by fashion away. I mean, uh, Chaos 5 is, you know, the JJ is doing an excellent, excellent job of doing his show. And it's a good, it's a good event, and especially my Armenians, they come and support. It's like a hometown for them, so they better get the W. Excellent. Now here's your chance. Stare in the camera. Take the microphone away from my ugly mug and tell your fans what they can expect against Cody Gibson at UFC 178. What they can expect from me, I'm go out there and just whoop his ass and get the W and it's my last chance for the, uh, for the title. I'm not even making a wait for 135 just to so show, show people what I can do. I'm going to go for the W and W only and get that belt. Doesn't matter, Dillashaw, Uriah Favor or Helen Brawl so the, or even Dominic Cruz. Let's make it happen. Thank you very much. Manny Gamburian, this is Jonathan King from theclinchreport.com and pugilbix.com. Thank you, Manny.